의장님, 사무총장님, 각국대표 여러분, 처벅허러쉬 총회 의장님의 축하합니다. 의장님의 리더십 하에 이번 제77차 UN 총회가 더 나은 세계를 향해 회원국들의 지혜를 놓는 계기가 되길 바랍니다. 특히 올해 두 번째 임기를 시작한 안토니오 구테레쉬 사무총장님의 헌신과 노력에 경의를 표합니다. 유엔 헌장은 더 많은 자유 속에서 사회적 진보와 생활 수준의 향상을 촉진할 것을 천명하고 있습니다. 또한 국제 평화와 안전을 유지하기 위한 인류의 연대를 촉구하고 있습니다. 한 국가 내에서 어느 개인의 자유가 위협받을 때 공동체 구성원들이 연대해서 그 위협을 제거하고 자유를 지켜야 하듯이 국제사회에서도 어느 세계 시민이나 국가의 자유가 위협받을 때 국제사회가 연대하여 그 자유를 지켜야 합니다. 우리들의 현대사는 이렇게 연대하고 힘을 합쳐 자유를 지키고 운명적 진보를 이룩해온 과정을 보여주고 있습니다. 오늘날 국제사회 힘에 의한 현상 변경과 핵무기를 비롯한 대량 살상무기, 인권의 집단적 유린으로 또다시 세계 시민의 자유와 평화가 Freedom and peace of its citizens put in jeopardy. Such threats to freedom and peace must be overcome through solidarity and fearless commitment to the framework of universal global norms consolidated over the years within the United Nations system. 이번 유엔 총회의 주제인 운수령의 시점은 우리가 직면한 글로벌 위기의 심각성을 대변함과 동시에 유엔의 역할이 그 어느 때보다 막중하다는 것을 의미합니다. 우리가 직면한 위기를 극복하고 해결책을 모색하는 출발점은 우리가 그동안 보편적으로 받아들이고 특정해온 and deference to the universally accepted UN global norms as well as the UN system established over the past decades. Mr. President, Mr. Secretary General, and Honorable Delegates, as humanity strives to defend freedom and build lasting peace, the UN's role is indispensable. Genuine freedom is not just being free from the shackles, but having opportunities to live life to the fullest with dignity. Genuine peace is not an absence of war, but removing conflict and enmity that hold back shared progress of humanity and building the foundation for greater prosperity of humanity. Genuine freedom and peace can turn into reality when we are free from disease and hunger, free from illiteracy and free from want of energy and culture. In this regard, the United Nations has been exerting great endeavors through the UN ECOSOC and UNESCO, among others. Yet, it is now urged to, to take on a broader role and responsibility. To tackle the challenges brought on by the pandemic, the UN must play a central role in bringing the community of nations together to decisively step up their support for countries with limited fiscal space and technical expertise in pursuit of the global agenda for decarbonization. Countries with leading green technologies must work to unsparingly share new and renewable energy technologies with other countries. 
특히 디지털 심화 시대에 디지털 격차는 국가 간의 양극화를 가중시키기 때문에 유엔을 중심으로 한 국제 사회의 협력이 매우 중요한 과제가 되었습니다. 디지털 기술 선도 국가는 대한민국의 디지털 교육과 기술 전수 투자에 많은 지원을 해야 합니다. 의장님, The Republic of Korea, notwithstanding the recent fiscal consolidation, scaled up support for those who are in need with resources secured through expenditure restructuring at home. We're offering more assistance to socially vulnerable groups and abroad. We increase our official development assistance budget. Just as broadening support for the socially disadvantaged groups lays the groundwork for sustainable prosperity, support for nations of the world facing challenges will render global freedom and peace. More sustainable. As a responsible member of the international community, Korea is committed to playing its due responsibility and role for the freedom of global citizens and prosperity of the global community. Korea has accelerated research development for COVID-19 therapeutics and vaccines, pledging $300 million toward the ACT-A initiative and $30 million to the Financial Intermediary Fund of the World Bank, among others, thereby expanding its contributions to building a more robust global health architecture. We're also taking part in the Negotiations to reach a pandemic accord under the World Health Organization to ensure a more effective response to future infectious disease outbreaks, Korea will host a ministerial meeting of the Global Health Security Agenda in Seoul this November. In addition, Korea will remarkably increase its contribution to the Global Fund, joining forces with our partners in our fight against infectious diseases, including AIDS. Tuberculosis and malaria. Turning to the issue of climate change, Korea will scale up its green ODA, help developing countries transition to a low carbon future, and share its innovative green technologies with the entire humanity. Over the years, Korea has been transferring and sharing its e-government digital technology with developing countries and many others. The Korean government is pushing forward with its plan to transform itself into digital platform government. It is an ambitious initiative. To remarkably upgrade our democracy, public service, and welfare through digital technology, we will continue to more widely share our advanced digital technology and data, and spare no effort in providing support and in investing in education. Mr. President, Mr. Secretary General. Distinguished delegates, as we seek answers to the global crisis we're faced with, the viability of the UN system and the universal global norms architecture is now under test. The crisis confronting us will only be resolved when we stand firmly in solidarity to share the universal value of freedom and work together to uphold and spread our freedom. In this vein, we must more firmly support the system of the UN anchored in a spirit of freedom and solidarity as well as the normative framework that have thus been universally recognized in the international community. Any attempt to turn away from the UN system and universal norms will divide the global community into blocks. 
further compounding the crisis and turmoil. We must more rigorously identify the nature and the roots of the problems that lie before us. The international community must vigorously endeavor to share responsibility and join whenever necessary forces to resolve the challenges we face. Once again, I call upon global citizens and leaders of the world for their resolute and enduring support for the UN system and universal global norms as we seek answers in this watershed moment. Mr. President, Mr. Secretary General, distinguished delegates, the very first mission of the United Nations after its founding was to approve the Republic of Korea as the sole legitimate government on the Korean Peninsula and to defend the freedom of my country by sending over UN forces during the Korean War. Thanks to such efforts by the United Nations, Korea was able to become what it is today. As such, the Republic of Korea will protect and expand the freedom of global citizens. And together with the United Nations, we will fulfill our responsibilities to promote peace and prosperity around the world. Thank you. On behalf of the Assembly, I wish to thank the President of the Republic of Korea for the statement just made. And I request the protocol to escort His Excellencies.